So let's move along to the next type of layout manager, which is the card layout manager. So let's change this to card. And let's add back in the yellow, cyan, and magenta. And let's run that and see what we get here. Well, nothing changed. Well, the reason nothing changed is because we added three items, yellow, cyan, and magenta. They're all still there, and we're looking at the first one. So what would happen if I change this to fit, having added three? Well, let's see. We refresh that, magenta's going to come up. The reason magenta came up is that fit only holds one layout. So when we added yellow, it was yellow, cyan replaced it, and then magenta replaced that. And so now we only actually have one item. So again, if we change this back to card and we refresh, it's going to basically stay on yellow, but we have cyan and magenta. But we have no way to navigate to the other ones. So let's see, how could we navigate? Let's, let's add a button. Well, if we're going to add a button, we have to somehow add it to the display. So maybe we should add a toolbar. Maybe we should add a docking toolbar. So let's grab a docking toolbar rather than make it piecemeal and force you to watch me step by step. I'm just going to paste in and explain it. So we're creating ext.create. We're creating a toolbar. This toolbar is just a simple component. So component can be docked. And so I'm going to say dock this to the top. We want the toolbar up at the top. Put in the text. Well, let's see. What do we want to do with a toolbar? Let's say, remember we have our our um, items are yellow, cyan, and magenta. So let's let's make the toolbar pull up the third one, which would be item two. So when we click on the button, which we're putting on the toolbar, again, in the items array, because remember, a container has an items array. So the text is going to say magenta. It's going to Basically, we're on the tool, we'll be on the toolbar on top, but we actually want to reference the panel. The way we do that, though we haven't talked about this yet, is we want to navigate from the toolbar then up to the panel to get that reference. So just take my word for it, this will work. If we, the button takes, gets a reference to itself, so we get the panel equals the button dot up dot up, takes us directly to this panel. Then we can say the panel dot set active item, and we ask for number two, which is the third one. It's a zero based array. And so now, if I run this, well, actually nothing's going to happen because I haven't added the toolbar to the items array. So now I have in my items array a toolbar, which is going to get docked to the top. So when I run this, there's our toolbar. We have a button that says magenta. When I click this, look at that, it switched to the second item in the tab array. And that basically proves that all these card items, all these cards or these panels are actually in the item array of the panel. So you can kind of get the idea that if we wanted to, we could make three buttons up here, magenta, cyan, and yellow. And then as we click the buttons, it would switch between the three active items. And you're thinking to yourself, boy, that sure looks a lot like a tab panel. Well, it turns out the XT, the Sencha Touch guys thought the same thing. So what we can do is instead of having the tab panel, let's just dump the tab panel. Instead of creating an ext.container, let's create an ext.tab panel. And now when we save this and run it, and let's get rid of the toolbar reference because there is no more toolbar, and we run this page. Look at that. This is practically the same thing we did, but sure is a lot nicer because the EXT guys built all the nice logic around there, and as we'll see later, we can do fancy animations and pop-ins and pop-outs and all those other kinds of things.